Hey, how's it going? It's Sunday morning now. Um, I took a little video yesterday. I wanted to do a little more video, but it just was um, kind of hard um, with this trip. Maybe next one. But anyways, this is uh, Great Diamond Island off of uh, Portland, Maine. So it's Casco Bay. And I have a family member that owns some property, owns a house out here that's on a committee um, to address um, some forestry management needs with, um, it's much different than logging, it's more got to do with uh, mitigating fire risk and they've got a lot of old wood and dead wood, of course they're not, no, nobody's out there logging. So they need somebody to come out that can take down all the dead trees and kind of clean it up some so and they're not set up to do it so I said I would come out and look at it and see if it was something that I could do or not so there's definitely parts of this job that I can do and there's other parts that really are more landscaping type brush cutting chipping stuff like hand chipping which really is not what I'm set up for um, it has hemlock on this island, which has, I, I can't remember the name of the caterpillar that's killing all the hemlock. So they've got a lot of big or, or decent sized dying hemlock that they need to get rid of. So they've got some stuff to figure out. And of course, there's a lot of logistics, which would include, you know, getting equipment and um, stuff on a barge to get out here. And they do have a you know, where they do have access for the barge, which is good, where you get a truck on and off. You couldn't get a tractor trailer on the island, but you could get a tri-axle um, with a loader on it, which would be better, because most of this <coughs> material or wood that we'd be cutting would be non-valuable, so they'd, we'd probably be hauling it back to dispose of it somewhere. So I thought this was a little different. It was I thought it was pretty cool. The other thing about this island is it's... It's an old World War II military base or outpost. Um, it was abandoned after the uh, Second World War. And so it's filled with bunkers and all these battery um, artillery points, lookouts, anything you can imagine. So in a lot, all the houses, or the pictures I took of the houses were officers' quarters. Um, and they were set up by rank and, you know, where you were in the army at that time. So every building here is some sort of old military housing or warehouse or um, what have you. So, I mean, obviously there's new buildings too, but uh, my cousin and her family have one of the old officer um, housing units, which is pretty neat. So... Um, pretty fancy area too obviously you probably don't own a property on this island unless you're doing pretty good but i thought this was pretty cool um, the ferry ride out there was pretty quick we didn't make any stops um, i didn't video every stop when i was heading back to portland but um what you're watching now i we probably made we stopped at long island and then I'm not sure if we stopped at Peaks, but we made another stop or two on the Diamond Cove Island or Great Diamond Island. There's a couple other spots to pick up people, so um, there's a lot of islands in that area, and it's fairly high traffic out of Portland, so um, it was pretty pretty cool. I mean, it's like an hour drive for me to Portland, park in the parking garage, uh, walk down to the ferry terminal, and then you hop on the boat and get out there. So. It was pretty neat. Um, um, got to explore the island a little bit after I did my kind of tour with my cousin and a couple other of the committee members that were heading up this committee. Um, but just to see what kind of complex um, that was out there for World War II or before. I guess these houses were built in the early 1900s. So they were building this base, you know, right around World War One, and then probably was really at its height during 
World War II and before that. So um, it's really kind of neat. So I figured I'd bring you guys along. Um, this is a little different. Like I said, I was hoping to get a little more video while I was out there, but it just, um, with doing the tour and kind of trying to gauge and figure out what, what the committee wants, um, I couldn't just be videoing. So, and the other thing is like what I was looking at was the association. So there's a part of the island is private where we were, and it's association. And there's a public part of the island there. So the association is part of this committee. And the committee and the association will approve or not approve whatever the plan is. So more than likely, they're going to come up with a list of what's most important. And then they, they'll figure out... We'll probably try to figure out what's the most important. Let's try something. You know, like they've got some old growth sections. That's just all the hemlocks dying lot of dead and down wood um, like a four acre piece they the best way to do this would be to go yeah we'll come out and do that one piece this is how much it's going to cost and then if it works good then you can move on from there but there's no way i'm going to go out there um, unless it makes sense and they're all on the same page so but anyways uh like subscribe comment i know it's a little different so i don't know whether you guys will enjoy it or not but hopefully you do catch you later